Hi guys, tonight my family and I are going to chill at Epcot because we like to do that once in a while. Um, we have like the after four Epcot passes. I'm actually just outside because I need to start some of my work again because uh, yesterday I did a bit of it and then today I need to finish it up. Oh, you can see my some of my blonde. Um, the video going up today, which is Saturday, I did filmed and edited the video yesterday. So... I'm like, wow, yeah, it kind of took me a very long time with that video just because it was a rambly one and I had to like cut a lot of stuff out, you know what I mean? So I'm excited for you guys to see that one. It would already be up on my channel, so you can go ahead and watch it if you like. But I'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you what I've been doing. Before I show you what I've been doing for school, number one, go follow my Twitter. It's linked down below and I do follow back, so just know that I follow back. I was featured in KK and Baby J's vlog, which which I'm really, really happy about. Um, I love Karen and Kwa. They're very genuine. I really like the way that they film and I take inspiration from it. So definitely go check them out and follow my Twitter. Okay, so what I've been working on, I'll kind of give you a little overview. We've had to make these grids. These are like the spreads I've done so far. I really don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm kind of like nervous about this. The lines are supposed to be text. This is the actual grid I'm working with. So as you guys can see, you lay this here. So yeah, you just kind of like line it up and then see I've like stayed in the grid. This is probably one of the hardest assignments that I've had to do so far. Okay, so change of plans. We are going to a movie I instead. I want to see Fifty Shades Darker so bad. So Valerie gave us the idea or gave like, or just presented the idea. Isn't that right, Valerie? That's right, I want you to do what you wanna do, baby. Yay! So I'm really excited and I'll tell you guys how the movie is when we get out. Also, I didn't wanna like film a lot anyway because tomorrow's the big day, so it works out. You okay, darling? Okay, she just choking over here, no big deal. All right, so we finally made it to downtown Disney. There's Disney Quest. I normally don't come around like this side, but we parked near um, Cirque du Soleil, like back there. Hi, Valerie. Hi. Okay, so we went to Cooks of Dublin to have dinner. So I have fish and chips. Sherry got two fishes, oh, fishes, fish and chips. And Valerie over there got onion rings instead of chips, but she's taking a picture for her Facebook page. Want to say hi, Sherry? Hi, Sherry. I just wanted to point out that these are literally the best fries ever. Like, if you like the big wedges, even Sherry agrees. I do. These fries are so freaking good. If you're ever at Disney Springs, get these fries. Okay, so we are out of the movie and I actually really, really liked it. If you have seen the first one, then it like goes off of that. Yes, I went with my mother's <laughs> because why not, right? <laughs> I don't have anyone else to go with. <laughs> Embarrassing myself every day. But that's okay, cause you know, I'm a good person, so, you know. It was a really good movie. I'm really excited slash nervous about my hair for tomorrow. I actually got a comment on the video that just went up tonight asking, what are you gonna do your hair? So, I'm doing it tomorrow, so this vlog will be... Oh, there's a the car right there. Oh, perfect, our car. It's right here. This loveliness will be a little bit lighter brown tomorrow. Good morning, guys. And yes, I know my hair is crazy, but today is the day when I'm bleaching my hair for the first time. I can't wait. I'm scared to death. Okay, and um, <laughs> yeah, mother's scared. But uh, I'm just so excited. Like, I couldn't even sleep because I was so excited. Anyway, we're going to Publix right now to quickly get this three minute miracle Aussie conditioner because I read about it and I think it's really good to use like right after uh, bleaching my hair and everything. I have my coconut oil too for treatments and stuff. That's what we're doing. And a poncho. Yeah a poncho so we can like paint my hair and stuff and not have to worry so much. And then when we get back, we're going to start the process. Oh, Valerie's calling me. Hold on one second, you're still in my headphones. Let me unplug the phone. So we are also going to wait a little bit in the parking lot so we can see the launch happening because apparently a rocket is going to take off. I don't know if you can see it. You can barely see it through the camera. We're also shopping for Sherry's hair. So she's gonna get a dye and dye her hair too because she kind of needs it That's just a little bit. Bad. And then I finally found the three minute miracle Aussie conditioner, which is good. 
Okay guys, we're gonna do it. I'm all changed into a shirt that like is not very important to me. I've had this literally forever. Sherry's got her little shirt on. I got my tripod here so we can film. We're gonna set you guys like right here. These are the materials I'm using for the first bleaching process. I have the toner here, um, but I'm not going to use that because I'm not gonna be toning because my hair's not gonna be light enough. I know that for a fact. Obviously the bleach, the developer, I'm using 20 volume, a whisk to mix it all up, a rat tail, comb, the little brushes, some ponchos I'm gonna wear, and gloves. I also have a hair cap here and mixing bowls. Okay, so I also forgot to show you, you need a brush to make sure your like hair is all combed out so you don't get splotches. And I don't have hair clips, so I'm just gonna use hair ties. <laughs> Okay, so basically I've divided my hair into four sections. I haven't washed my hair for th like three days, so it's really oily and gross. We are going to mix the powder and the developer now, and we're going to apply it. I'm not going to time lapse it because my hands are gonna be gross and I can't really touch the camera and stuff, so what I'll just like explain to you what I'm gonna do and then come back to you when it's already on. I also find that like watching people apply like bleach is like really boring from all the videos I watch. I just kind of skip over that part. What I'm gonna do is start from about here and then down because the roots process faster than the um, the bottom parts of your hair. So we are going to get mixing. I feel like a dog. It's one of these to two of those. Oh, so four, so, so four, four scoops of, of snap. That's, that's where my math skills just like get the best of me. And for payment for mother, I got her a box of hair dye. Every day. Hi guys, we got all the bleach on finally. It took like quite a while. Now I have my timer set for 40 minutes. I'm gonna stay out here in the sunlight to have natural heat and everything. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm kind of nervous to see how it's gonna be, but I know I'm gonna have an orange head when I wash out and condition and stuff, but that's okay, because it's all a process. The only part that really hurt was the back of my neck because I had some eczema back there and you know, it kind of um, stung a little bit but other than that I don't I've never really had a sensitive scalp so it doesn't really hurt it doesn't really sting or whatever I mean I just put it on but like I'll let you guys know how it feels like once it's off it's been about 40 minutes and my hair is looking pretty blonde I'm gonna go rinse it out in cold water no shampoo then I am going to condition it's physically very hot and my scalp is just like a little bit tingly. So yeah, that's the update. It still tingles around the nape of my neck, but physically the hair is like really hot, like it's burning. Other than that, my scalp though is like just a little bit tingly. All right guys, I saved the grand reveal for you as well as mother in here. Let's turn that off, so. All right, are we all ready? We're ready. Okay. I'm orange, holy cow. <gasps> No, but I was I was honestly like expecting this. Right. It's not a big it's deal. The it's the color and design. Because I've done this before to my hair, but like ombre, not like, you know, like this. Tomorrow I'm going to use my purple shampoo. I'm not gonna tone because this isn't the desired like color I want, you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna tone, but I'm just gonna use my purple shampoo and hopefully it'll cancel out some of this before I go off into the world on Tuesday. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I just don't want to kill my hair even more. But look how light it is up here. That's pretty neat. Oh my gosh, look, a really dark spot. There are patchy spots, but you know, it was our first time, so. What can you say? So yeah, this is my hair. It's so orange. The only thing that's like really weird, Sherry, is that like my roots are so much lighter. I definitely know it's a process because like look at the ear. Like look around my ear, Sherry. Like it's, I mean, I don't know. I just have to wait until it dries to see like the real deal. I really have to get used to this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna come back to you guys when it's like all completely like dry. Yeah, but I have to wait two weeks, two weeks with this hair and then we get to do it again. Cause I don't want my hair to fall out. Maybe I need to like come over here. This camera's like super weird. Like the color doesn't really like fall into place, but whatever. Anyway, this is what my hair looks like. I really like it. It's very brassy and 
stuff. I'm gonna try to cancel out some of the brass with my purple shampoo tomorrow, like I said to you guys like a million times. But overall, it turned out so much better than I expected. It's really blonde up here. I actually posted some photos on my Instagram, at least in my story, so go add me on Instagram follow me link is down below but um, this is round one of the bleach so what I am going to do is wait two weeks and just use my purple shampoo and my normal shampoo a few times and after two weeks I'm gonna bleach it again I've come to the conclusion that I'm probably going to need to bleach four times in order to achieve the color I want which is this color back here it was the fourth time we bleached that just to make sure it's all evened out and everything. But it's a really massive change, but I'm already liking it. Um, I know that this video was kind of like weird and I'm not doing my hair all in one sitting, but um, I don't wanna kill my hair. I have very long hair, as you guys can see. I want to preserve my hair and have it be as healthy as possible. So that's why I'm waiting two weeks in order to um, get it to the way I want it. Some of you might ask, why didn't I tone it? It is not light enough or it's not light to my desire look for me to tone it so I would not get the the look that I was going for if you know what I mean it was really scary my hair my head kind of felt all tingly and weird thank you to mother back there for helping me do it um, she was amazing thanks for all of you guys being so supportive this is something I've always wanted to do and I did it so it's just like anything else in life it takes time care and persistence in order for you to get somewhere. So you can do whatever you want, just remember those things. It's not gonna happen overnight. You don't start out as a manager overnight. You work towards getting to that position. You work towards getting the look you want. So that's what I'm doing. Leave your comments down below what you think of it. Don't forget that this is not the completed look. Like I'm not gonna keep my hair like this. That would be kind of scary. Stay tuned. I am going to end this vlog and I know I said I wasn't going to end vlogs like this, but I'm just gonna say it in this clip because number one, I need to edit this and number two I want my hair videos to be majority of footage about my hair rather than like other little things. I will see you in my next video. Bye